I talked to my doctor about getting an IUD as well. Uh, any ladies in here D up? Yeah, laying down a little zone defense. Nice, nice. I, uh, I'm gonna get the Paragard. It's the non-hormonal IUD. It's a copper wire wrapped around a device that creates a toxic environment in your system for anything that gets in there, right? Uh, and my whole thing is like, that's it? We just needed to shove a fucking penny up there? This whole time. <laughs> So I just like to imagine a little Abraham Lincoln in my womb, just taking out the white Confederate soldiers as they march north, right? I'm excited to switch to the IUD. I've been on birth control since I was 14, which is aggressive. Um, but when I think about that, I feel very lucky, right? I had access to it. I had parents that were very open about birth control and reproductive rights. They just wanted us to make healthy choices. Like my mom was the kind of parent that was like, look, if you're gonna drink, I'd rather you have an abortion. <laughs> I, uh, I really, I like talking about this, so I like talking about body stuff. I worked in sexual health education for seven years. I think, uh, thank you. Uh, I think we need to be having more conversations about this, more like, you know, age appropriate, comprehensive conversations. So I always love to ask, did you guys have sex ed growing up? Yeah. Yes, okay, a lot of you, yes. Do you remember anything you learned? No, any like tidbits? No, nothing? Yeah, yeah, not your fault. We have a failed system, we have a messed up system, right? Like, I think it's a problem that the only thing I remember from sex ed is that my reproductive system looks like the logo for the Texas Longhorns. <laughs> right. I was talking to a friend of mine who said that in her sex ed they had to learn how to put condoms on bananas, which I think is our nation's greatest downfall right there. We're just teaching youth to expect bananas. <laughs> That's a generous fruit. <laughs> Maybe we start with a baby carrot. <laughs> Gentlemen, if there's a lady next to you clapping at that one. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think it's weird, we, we have weird uh, ways that we talk about sex. We compare sex to baseball. I think that's kind of weird, right? <laughs> First base kissing, second base touching, we're kind of stupid. Whoever made up that analogy forgot that in baseball, there's a whole other team that's like, stop, we don't want you to go any further! <laughs> right? Sex is not like baseball. Sex is like bobsledding. <laughs> you get two or four people, whatever you pref. Get them together in some tight quarters. You gotta work together. You gotta finish together. And the Jamaicans always surprise you. 